fans and collectors, welcome back to Diecast Motorsports, and today we'll be taking a look at another Micro Machines product. Well, not actually another Micro Machines product, but the first ever rivalry in the sport, which these will probably be gone in the next year because of the quality on them. Anyways, today we're going to be taking a look at Johnny Lightning Micro Strike. Now, these just came out not too long ago. You can get them in stores right now. They're $3.47 each. They're made by Tomy, even though they're Johnny Lightning cars, which I don't really think that Johnny, Johnny, that Tomy owns Johnny Lightning. Now, on the back of this card here, it says Johnny Lightning over for Micro Strike over 30 styles to collect. You can see there's a few cars in there. They look real, and they had those fantasy cars, which, in my opinion, look pretty ugly. But, uh, anyways, made by Tommy. These just came out this year. And, um, so you get three cars each with this Super Cyclone Speed, and I will be talking about these. So, anyways, on the back, you open it like this. On the back, there sh should be, like, foil that you have to open these up with on the back but I already opened these up earlier so I just resealed it and whatnot so anyways pull them out like this and here we have all the vehicles that you get in the card my complaint about there's I have a few I have quite a few complaints about these two um at the stores these are randomly packed they don't have like um certain sets like the micro machines do like these like the farm set right here you have the harvester farm truck and tractor no it's not like that what they'll do is they'll take like a random car cars off the back and just bunch them in there which i don't really like that because that's going to make it a lot more harder to collect it's even easier to collect um cars that are in blind bags that you can't even see than collecting these in my opinion because you gotta buy so many of them and you'll probably if you want to collect all the cars you're probably gonna have to buy duplicates in each pack but anyways at toy fair they said that this car so anyways let's go ahead and take a look at the cars at toy fair they said that the white cars were rare which i did see quite a few of these so they might have changed that anyways let's take a look at this car here now, they do have metal chassis on them. They have these weird tires. Like, very weird tires. And, um... Got these nut but like, on the side, like, they look nice, but on the bottom, they just look really weird. Now, what I've been noticing about all the cars is that, like, they had this gap in between them. But at Toy Fair, they had a gun or a launcher that they were showing for these cars. So, what I'm thinking it is... Is that you're going to have to stack these cars on top of each other. And these line is going to be like a line or something that hooks in with all the cars. And so that way it like multi-rapidly fires them. And it's fall right through. Now, anyways, the white car ain't really nothing to it. It has white windows. Very bland. And a red lightning strike on it. But, I mean, it's kind of cool. But, um... Yeah, it's all right. But my biggest complaint about these is that they're randomly packaged. Right here, we have ourselves a car. It looks like a souped-up Camaro. Kind of. has like a light bar on the top. I guess it's a light bar. It's like a booster or whatever. I'm going to call it light bar. Because you see right there in the front, it looks like the Camaro that was in the Transformers with the Bumblebee. Right there in the front. Mixed with a truck. On the side, black tires, basic white hood, and on the back it has like a um, spoiler, and red light bars. So I have, once again, weird tires on the bottom marks. Then that mark, which all of these cars had that mark, so I'm um, going to think that that's part of the launcher as well on the bottom, that little space right there. But anyways, this is an okay car. Yeah, all these cars have like certain markings on them. Like right there's like a gap in the back. And um, anyways, 
last car in a set is the well, it's not really a set they're freaking randomized which is so stupid um is the police car now this is my actual favorite out of the set this one has the most like detail on it as you can see right there it says johnny lightning police department jlpd that's what it stands for i'm sure there's a star on the side there's some stripes 911 top says unit 19 a jl johnny lightning police department again back has some red tail lights on the side right here star other more white stripes Giant Lightning Police Department 911 front has these pretty cool lighting had lights on it one's red one's blue on top right there but yeah this is my favorite car out of the set or mix match set looks really nice with all the detail on it pretty cool police car and now I will compare them. I do not have any nano speeds on me right now at the time. So I'm just going to regular compare them with the new micro machines. I don't have my other um, vintage micro machines out right now. So I'm just going to have to compare them with some cars from the set. Now this one was from the park and race garage. And compared to them, you can see that these are a little bit smaller, a little bit squinted in. And, um, in my opinion, I like these micro, the new micro machines a lot better than these. Although, this police car right here does look pretty cool. Um, they're really nice, but I'll be spending my money on the new micro machines, helping them, um, with the cool toys, bring the brand, keep it going. But, um, anyways, I'm not really a fan of these Giant Lightning Micro Strike. They go on clearance, I will definitely buy them, but... Otherwise, I'm not going to really buy these as much because um, this year I'm mostly going for the micro machines because that's something I've been waiting for since I was like 6 or 5 years old when I first found out about these. But yeah. So anyways, that is it for the Johnny Lightning Micro Strike. These are okay cars. Um, I mean, I can make them roll real quick. Give you an idea. I mean, this is like a carpet surface, but um, that one roll, the blue one right there rolls pretty fine. Um, yeah, I guess you gotta get the launcher, but these got the micro machines. They just roll perfectly. We'll do like a little race with these real quick. See, micro machines. The new wheels are like very. Well, anyways, we'll talk about micro machines in a few next videos. Anyways, this has been the Johnny Lightning Micro Strike Collection. Uh, of random cars in the packs, which I think is so stupid that they did that because now it's gonna be a pain in the butt for us collectors if we're even gonna collect these to get them. But I'm not gonna really be collecting these. I might buy a few more sometime, but I will not be buying these anymore, most likely, unless they go on clearance. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to go subscribe, like this video if you liked it. And uh, this is my own opinion, so um, and we'll see you in the next video. Probably next video, we'll be taking a look at the Micro Machine Starter Packs. So, um, and then we'll be taking a look at the um, uh, Micro Machine City Set in a few days. Or probably this week. I'm going to try to put as many um, videos out this week. I'm about to be going on vacation, so... Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.